Hello and welcome back to Railroads Online. So today we are here with the number five. Going to be leaving from the ironworks with the Mason bogey. Open up the doors there. Get ready to come back. As you can see, we are running steel pipe. Not out to the oil field, but up to the oil refinery. So we have uh, finished the track up there which does mainly complete the layout we do have a couple other connections to make it some you know switch things to switch around so it's not completely done yet but getting pretty close at this point it fundamentally works so we're roughed in at least up to the um oil refinery haven't finished things just trying something a little different and um that's what today is going to be going to show that up there not sure if i'm going to keep it that way probably fine tune some things up there because it's kind of a new um uh, a new layout idea up there is kind of the idea so gonna see how well that works should be easy i know we um already got some loads delivered up there so definitely know that it works have not delivered um steel pipes up there so it is our first with those throw a couple of scoops in there open up some things break turn that off don't need that get this going it's gonna pretty much run us out of steel pipes which is cool then we got plenty more coal we can bring over the mountain get that going start filling things up and uh, picking up, we definitely need more tankers or coffin cars, one of the two. Coffin cars do not hold a lot. Ran those two up. All the lineups worked out well for those, so I don't know. The cars are nice to fill. I think they're a little nicer and easier to fill. The new coffin cars probably than the tankers, so I'm not sure if get a bunch more of those. They don't haul as much, so that's kind of a pain, though, so see how that goes but all right that should get us going on this one looks like numbers are good all right slide this out of the yard turn that off turn that off move this there we go <clears throat> so these we are just going to mainly pull through the switch here nice and easy taking that out should have put that other train over on the left rail not the middle one but that's okay we still can go around it obviously no problem Hopefully this train has enough oomph to actually pull this up. Something I didn't really think about. Not that we have a heavy grade here. So we did turn around and bring this into a Y. So obviously we can leave either side of the loop there at the ironworks. We had those switches laid in from our setup there. This just turned around did one nice continual curve. Still have a couple of trees, obviously, in here to take out. Didn't push everything back. Wasn't sure how much of this was going to have to get realigned, but just kind of kept it really simple. So that's nice. <clears throat> one nice curved piece of track that comes through there. And then this whole spline is just one big, like, auto snap, I think, pretty much. So we'll start the nice long grade up and around the way. <clears throat> no, actually it did turn around and run this out straight for a while first and then turned around and auto snapped it from here. Just auto snapped it to the end. So not sure exactly what the grade is on this part or anything because this is just an auto snap. Which you'll see because the spline got stretched out, so there comes the flat little bit that you get in the rail on the super long spline. Or not super long, but longer spline. So 
good example of that there. And here as we go, <clears throat> this really is just the ultimate easiest version of a drop-off here is my take on this. So this one really simplifies the, um, the layout up here. There's no real need to switch locomotives or to back up or to anything else. As you can see here, very simple. We have the one um, rail for barrels, which will come, you know, when we get there, obviously. And we did the lumber, which we have already successfully dropped off. And then we will do pipe right here. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Nice and easy. No need to back up. No need to switch. No need to do anything. Yes, it's a lot of stop and go. But really... The trains generally aren't that long coming up here anyway, and if you're going to switch them and all the rest of that, they definitely you end up breaking them down, whatever. So I figure this is probably just faster and easier. Make sure that we're getting paid, which we definitely are. So there we go. Oil refinery made easy is my take on this one that should do it boom 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 there we go getting paid because that's what we're trying to do make a little money and buy some more rolling stock because we definitely need it there we go now at least we have two more coffin cars or something we can add to the layout just that fast so that's working out good and we actually probably are starting to make a few oil barrels over there. Yeah, there they are, so I think. Maybe we don't even have enough oil up here. Nope, we don't. Guess not. Those are still the vertical ones. Yeah, because we only have two of the coffin cars, so we need to add some oil production is going to be the thing. So more tankers or more coffin cars coming up soon, but I think with that one, we're going to say that that's about the simplest version of the oil refinery layout that I could come up with and that it works nice and easy fast and go forward the whole time so there you go call that one a win say thanks for tuning in remember if you get a chance like share subscribe subscriptions are free but they sure do help the channel y'all have a great day